naturopath guide and Centero, and my sidekick has joined me. Yeah, he just woke up from a nap. Yeah. <laughs> we're, st we're still in love with each other. Yeah. Yeah. He's being really sweet. He's sleeping through the night. I know a lot of you guys really enjoy when I bring him um, on camera. So I just wanted to show everybody he's grown. So he's gone from uh, two, two and a half pounds to three pounds now. Oh, yes, he's tired. Someone's had a rough day, right? You've already had a long day? Yes. And it's only, uh, you know, uh, 10, 15 in the morning. So, okay. All right. So this reading here is from a subscriber who's a fan of Maria Clara at Ibarra. And it is a reading about Dennis and Julie and another reading on Barbie and David. So I decided to put them together because you can, we can you can just watch it seamlessly. One one on-screen couple to another on-screen couple. I'm truly grateful for the um, subscriber who's purchased these readings and has allowed me to share it with everybody. She said, "Go ahead and post it public for everybody to watch." I really am so grateful for it. And I hope the rest of you guys out there, you subscribers, are also um, really grateful. And I really hope you enjoy the reading. For those of you who are new to my channel, a little bit about myself. I'm a clairsentient, clairvoyant. And I read energies uh, between people, on people, energy, vibe, emotions, feelings. And I can kind of feel where that's going to go. It's called reading people. And um, I would say that is my specialty. And then I also use tarot and I'm clairvoyant. If you would like to purchase a reading, I do have three services that I do provide. The first one is $30. You get one question, five cards, and an energy reading. Second service is $45. Two questions, and you get five cards per each reading. And the last service is a full reading and that is $70 and you get four questions again five cards and I usually pull more cards for a full reading if you just have one question on your favorite celebrity or even on yourself if you wonder if you're going to be getting a job or you should apply for something or you know the person that you're interested in um you know uh feels the same way about you you know whatever you know whatever you want to do I can do a reading on and uh, my, my email will be below. You can go ahead and email me. I will get back to you within 24 hours. And my turnaround time is less than seven days. And for those of you who keep coming back and um, uh, supporting my channel, I truly appreciate every single last one of you for commenting, liking, subscribing. You're, you really are like a family to me. And you've, been, you've also um, uh, accepted Bambi into into your lives as well so all right uh thank you so much for everybody who keeps supporting me and enjoy the reading a chance for julie and dennis to reunite and work again on a big project together soon like what future do you see about this newly discovered on-screen pairing all right so i did read this background he is um they're both tauruses 42 and 29. Okay, so like when I think about these two, I get massive respect for him. And she looks up to him, whether it's for mentoring or learning something. Um, there, I don't really looks up to him, and I feel that on some level, um, she owes him something. You know, whether like she owes him. Um, uh, like, I know that she has earned everything by her own hands, but it's almost like she feels like she owes him something. You know, um, oh, how do you put that? Um, maybe behind the scenes, he has taught her things, taught her things that she's never known. But I get, I just get that she really respects him, looks up to him like either a dad or a big brother, um, and never, ever wants anything... Um, um, and he, she, she doesn't want anything bad to happen with him. You know, I just get this, this um, wanting nothing but happiness for him and love and that kind of a thing. Um, now, see, when I look at these pictures, I'm not shaking my head on any level. 
Like, I feel like these are real, whether they're promotional or whether they are behind the scenes or it's just personal stuff. I get a very genuine um, connection between the two of them. A working, calling, working colleagues respect for each other. Okay. Now that they have other separate projects lined up, we want to know, is there a chance for Julie and Dennis to reunite and work again on a big project together soon? Eh, I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. Like, what future do you see about the newly discovered on-screen pairing? Now, the pairing was unexpected and experimental, but turned out to be very effective to the audience despite their age gap. Their characters and on-screen chemistry gained a good number of fans who want to see them work together again. So it's like, I feel they got together, they did well, it was very successful, but let's just be, let that be for a while they, while they go do other things. I feel down the road they will. They don't want to do it too often, right? Because it's like they need to go experiment and do other things with other people. I don't think they're going to work together for a while. Because it was so successful, let that be successful. And I feel like there might be a little bit of a worry that if we pair up again and it's not so successful, it'll just just die out, right? So I don't see, I don't feel like it's going to be anytime soon. Okay, it's like they want to let that success be. Okay, let's just see what the cards say. I hope that makes sense. What are the future uh, messages regarding them working together? What future do you see about this newly discovered on-screen pairing? Uh, I don't feel like they're going to be paired up for a while. Okay, let the success ride it out. Okay, that they have on this project. Okay, so I mean like, like there's a lot of beginnings here. I feel, okay, so here we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles is a reliable man. It's patient. It's hardworking. This is about planting the seed. So they did a project together. They planted that seed. Everybody knows that they're good, a good pairing, working together, right? And the Knight of Pentacles talks about loyalty, investment, and growth. So they've invested and they put that growth in there, okay? Applied to a situation, the card represents long-term growth and commitment to a goal, okay? So the card asks you, to examine how you might succeed financially in the future and what seeds can you sow. So what seeds, they planted some seeds here. Now they're just going to let it grow, okay? There could be that in the beginning here, like they, there's the fool, okay? So it's fresh hope, taking chances, new beginnings. It's they need to take that leap of faith. But I think there's going to be time or maybe they've already taken that leap of faith and it's worked out well for them, okay? Um, this is the very first card in tarot. And uh, it does signify new beginnings. But this is that risk, innocence, opportunity. So there's new opportunities that are going to be coming. New opportunities, okay? A new phase. It's about following your dream in the spirit of freedom. And there's calculating calculations here. Um, the calculation calculate the risk before you take the leap of faith. So I feel like this is very calculated. Lots of options, okay? There is the Seven of Cups, which talks about too many choices. And it's like if they do too much together, it might be too much. Just because it was successful this one time, and I feel like there may be some projects that's coming down, but they might be a little bit more selective. But I really feel like they want to just ride the success out on this one for a while. I don't feel like something's going to come anytime soon, but this is saying the options are there. This is about commitment issues. So there might be some issues committing to it for a while, okay? They have the power. There's the magician. This is about having all the tools. There's the wand, the sword, the cup, the coin, unlimited power. They're both powerful. She's powerful, he's powerful, but it's just a matter of time. I think they're very calculated. It's going to be a while. I want to say two or three years at least. The number two or three came up, okay? And then there is the ace of uh, coins, okay? This does talk about a new job, a raise, a promotion, an investment, or income source. 
I feel it will come, but not for a while. It's going to be handed to them. You can see money being handed to them. The offer. But there's lots of offers. Look at all the cups. Every Everyone here has something nice in it, has something good, right? It's just a matter of being selective. I think they're being very selective because if the, if the success was so good on this last project, they have to now top that, okay? I'm just going to see, give us the number when, when this might happen again. Don't think it's going to be a while. Do they want to work together? Yes, but I don't think it's going to be for a while. They have to be very selective. Okay, so here is the number six, 2026. Okay, um, B1 is six, right? So this could be six months. Don't think it's going to be any time this year. The sixth month of the year, 2026, three years, two to three years from now. Okay, don't think it's going to be any time soon. I feel like it might. they think it might be a little bit too much right now to have anything anytime soon. I could be wrong, but I feel like there is a lot of options here that they're looking at. Let's see here, David Lucio, Luz, Lusoco, Lusoco, and Barbie Forteza, energy and career career reading. So David is June fifteenth, which is his birthday's tomorrow. He'll be thirty, and Barbie is July thirty first. So a Leo and a Gemini. David and Barbie have already worked together a few times, but not until their recent drama project when people noticed their chemistry. And now they're one of the biggest on-screen couples in the Philippines this year because of the success of their recent drama. A lot of projects such as new endorsements, new series, movies were lined up for them. Now we just want to know what are the energies, feelings do you feel between them in general and the future of this famous pairing? Mm, these, two, these two are just friends. This is a really great online chemistry I don't feel there's any kind of, I really feel that this is a really nice connection. It's a great chemistry. They work well together. I don't feel that there's anything more than that. Um, it's like, it's like they really, it's just like they really work well together. And so they keep working together. Well, uh, they keep working together because they're so successful. When I think about these two, because there is, um, a 25 to four years difference between the two of them. I get a big brother, little sister. He looks up to her. I don't know because he's a little bit older, right? I feel like he looks up to her. It's like, I don't know why, but I get this feeling that she carries the show. It's like, there's something about her that's very endearing and charismatic. Um, I'm not saying he doesn't have talent. I believe they both have talent, but there's something about, about her that's very like I, I look at her and she's very sweet she's got this little girl kind of a quality and brings a lot of fun to the show he's a little more serious see she's a Leo and Leos are very sparky and fun they like the limelight Leos are in the zodiac represented by the Sun and the Sun is basically the center of the solar system our solar system right it it, without the sun, there is no life, right? So I feel that she's she's just a lot of fun to be around. They get along great. I don't feel like it's anything more than just a really, really great working relationship. Um, I don't, you know, I feel like they will keep working together because it's so successful. It's this is a successful on screen relationship, working relationship, nothing more than that. Okay, let's see what the messages are here regarding these two. What are the messages? What are the future messages? Okay, so now we want to know their energies, feelings. Do you feel them in general and the future of this famous pairing? I'll just, uh, you know what, let's just see what the cards say. I just don't, I, I, I just get this really great respect for each other I want to say brother or sister you know that sort of a thing okay so the way I do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out those are clarity cards and jumpers if more than one card falls out I put it back in the deck and shuffle till one card falls out 
Okay, what are the messages regarding these two? What are the messages? What are the messages? What are the messages regarding? Okay. All right, so we have here the very first card. This card speaks about victory. This is the Six of Wands. This is victory, awards, recognition, good news, being the boss. I don't know if one of them is going to go on to be producing or directing, but this is saying that whatever work that they do, they you, you can, like, typically this card shows a man coming back from battle. He's on a he's on a horse, he's got his armor on, he's coming back from battle, and he's victorious. And typically there's people cheering this guy on as he's going through um, the crowd. So I, I this card here, what I think is this, they're going to have awards and recognition. I don't know if they already have won awards, but they work well together. This Whatever they're working on, they could be getting awards. Okay, but this is about recognition. Okay, you do say here, that um, their recent, not until their recent drama project when people noticed their chemistry and now they're one of the biggest on-screen couples in Philippines this year. Okay, this is about that a recognition and this will keep going. It's a good thing, okay? Now we have here the um, Nine of Cups and the Nine of Cups signifies wishes coming true, material abundance. Okay, everybody is welcome at their table. This is a card typically of when things are brought to the person. This person has earned everything and it's coming to them. Okay, all these awards, um, the blessings, their wishes are coming true. They're getting the, the, they're getting the um, uh, material abundance, good health. So this is what they've earned and it's, it's coming to them. And they want, they're willing to share it with each other and others. Okay. All right. Now we have the Seven of Pentacles, which talks about patience, hard work. So they put that hard work in. This is somebody that has earned everything by, the, by their own hands. Okay. Um, uh, and this can also say that there really is no more work to be done. They've proven themselves. All right. And now it's like just... Um, I'm not saying that they don't have to keep working hard, but they've proven themselves and they don't, maybe they don't have to work as hard as they used to. Okay. All right. Here is the Queen of Swords. This is a logical, self-sufficient, truth-telling woman. This could be her. Okay. Even though this does represent an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, this can represent someone who maybe even speaks for the both of them and defends everything that they do and also stands up for their rights. She is a strong person. I really get a strong personality with her. And she, I want to say, is kind of like maybe they have different agents. Maybe they, you know, have different managers. But it's like she speaks up for both of them. She is not scared. Even though she reminds me about it. She reminds me of a really sweet young lady. I really feel she stands up for everything that she wants or needs for both of them. And then we have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is romantic love, partnership, proposal, marriage. But this is this, I don't feel that this is past life connection. This is the on screen chemistry that the two of them have. Now, maybe off screen, there's that chemistry as well, but it's not romantic. This is a partnership. All right. This is a very strong partnership. Um, hold on just a second here. So, the Two of Cups speaks about, I just want to get a deeper meaning of this. Two of Cups talks about partnership, relationships, agreements. All right. In established relationships and friendships too, you sense a karmic connection. Creative partnerships flourish. You respect and support each other. They respect and support each other. Creative um, partnerships. This is a creative partnership. Okay, I think I think this is a very very nice working relationship. Um, I don't get romantic love between the two of them. I do feel that they will be working. They will continue working together because it's working, you know. And they're getting the recognition. They might be getting some awards coming down the road. Okay, all right. There you go. That is the reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank